गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव बीन कंप्लीटेड द एक्सरसाइज 3.1 सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो मींस त्रिकोणमितीय अनुपात सो दीस ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस ऑलरेडी यू हैव बीन लर्न इन द 10th क्लास सो टोटली देयर एग्जिस्ट सिक्स नंबर ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस एंड व्हिच आर दोस सो फर्स्ट वन इज साइन and the second one is cosine and the third one is tangent and the fourth one is cotangent fifth one is secant and the sixth one is cosecant sin we just write s i n mix sin cosine we just write cos tangent we just write tan cotangent we just write cot secant we just write sec cosecant we just write cosec or c s c means cosecant these trigonometric ratios are always defined in a right angle triangle means lump of the triangle you are trigonometric ratio you must know define so let triangle pqr is one of the right angle triangle and let the angle pqr Angle P Q R is equal to 90 degree. And let theta is the measuring angle. Measuring angle means the arthe part of the corner. Where theta is what? Measuring angle. And next, in this triangle P Q R. The side which is opposite to the measuring angle. So, the which is PQ R or the measuring angle, yeah, the side opposite to the virudha. That is what we call opposite side of the measuring angle. Now, in this one, what is O? O means what? Opposite side of the measuring angle. O means opposite side of the measuring. Angle. And then the side which consists right angle as well as measuring angle. Tribuja the yawa power ninety degree angle na matto measuring angle na bada bada dekho na. That side is called as adjacent side of the measuring angle. Adjacent side na yawa kya dekho na? Tri A. A means adjacent side. So we A. Adjacent side of the measuring angle, and then the longest side of the triangle PQR is called as hypotenuse side of the measuring angle. Weaker side of the no, the longest side of the triangle PQR is called as hypotenuse side. Side means A. Hypotenuse side means A. 
image and next the tan theta tan theta is the ratio of opposite side to the adjacent side opposite side to the adjacent side and next cot theta cot theta is the ratio of adjacent side to opposite side adjacent side to opposite side and then sec theta sec theta is the ratio of hypotenuse side to the adjacent side so h divides e hypotenuse to adjacent side next one is what cosec theta so cosec theta is the ratio of hypotenuse side to the opposite side ratio of hypotenuse side to opposite side is the definition of what cosec theta i hope all of you understood and one more thing the definition of all of these trigonometric ratios can be remember by using only one word that word is so can to by remembering this one word we may remember the definition of all these trigonometric ratios you just observe here yes means sin the definition of sin is opposite to hypotenuse side opposite to hypotenuse side c means cos cos is the definition is adjacent to hypotenuse side ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse side and tan is the ratio of opposite to adjacent side opposite to adjacent side and a reverse adjacent to opposite is the reciprocal of tan that is cot you just observe here definition of sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse and the definition of cosec theta is hypotenuse to opposite so reverse it it means reciprocal of sin theta is cosec theta and the reciprocal of cosec theta is sin theta cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse second theta is hypotenuse divided by adjacent it means cos theta is reciprocal of second theta or second theta is reciprocal of cos theta tan theta opposite by adjacent cot theta adjacent divided by opposite it means reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta or reciprocal of cot theta is tan theta so adjacent divided by opposite ulta tan reciprocal of cot hypotenuse divided by adjacent cos cos reciprocal of second theta ulta what is the reciprocal value to hypotenuse divided by opposite sin reciprocal is cos second so therefore by remembering this word we may remember the all the definition of this trigonometric ratio i hope all of you understood if possible take a So now the relation between trigonometric ratios. So first the general relations are very clear. I am going to do one by one. So first one is sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to one. And the second one cos theta into second theta is equal to 1 and the third one tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 so first one prove everything one thing so first one is what sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1 let P Q R is one of the right angle triangle, and angle P Q R is equal to 90 degree, and let theta is the measuring angle. So the side which is opposite to this measuring angle, this e measuring angle is outside opposite to the that is what opposite side, and the side which consists right angle as well as measuring angle, what is that? That is adjacent side. and the longest side of the triangle is now hypotenuse side 
So first thing, let us consider the LHS. Yada bhaga thodu, it is equal to bala bhaga thodu proman. So first, the value of LHS is what? Sin theta into cosecant theta. So from this triangle, sin theta is equal to, definition is what? Opposite divided by hypotenuse. It means opposite side is PQ. So PQ divided by hypotenuse side is PR. PR. I know for second thing. So for second theta is equal to what? Hypotenuse side divided by opposite side, which is equal to hypotenuse side is PR divided by opposite side. Opposite side is what? PQ. So P. Therefore, LHS sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to sin theta is equal to what? PQ divided by PR. So, this sin theta is equal to what? PQ divided by PR. PQ divided by PR into cosecant theta is PR divided by PQ. Cosecant theta is equal to what? PR divided by PQ. Now, which is equal to? PR, PR get cancelled. PQ, PQ get cancelled. So, remaining thing is 1. Therefore, we conclude that sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to what? One. I hope all of you understood. If possible, take a look. So now the second one. Prove that cos theta into second theta is equal to one. So again, let us consider LHS side. LHS side is the left hand side. Add a bar. Input is the cos theta into second. Now we need the definitions of cos theta and second theta. So in this triangle, PQR. Cos theta is equal to definition is what? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent divided by hypotenuse, which is equal to. Adjacent side is QR. So Q R divided by hypotenuse side is P R. P R. Next is second theta. So second theta is hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Hypotenuse side is equal to P R. P R divided by adjacent side is equal to Q R. So Q R. Therefore, L H S is equal to cos theta. Cos theta is equal to what? QR divided by PR. So QR divided by PR into second theta. Second theta is equal to PR divided by QR. So PR divided by QR. Now QR, QR get cancelled. PR, PR get cancelled, which is equal to what? 1. Therefore, cos theta into Second theta is equal to what? One. I hope all of you understood. If possible, take a look. So now the third one. Prove that tan theta into cos theta is equal to one. So again, let us consider the left hand side. Means here about tan theta into cos theta. So we need the definition of tan theta and cos theta. Therefore, in this triangle PQR, the definition of tan theta is equal. To. The definition of tan theta is opposite divided by adjacent side. So therefore, which is equal to here opposite side is PQ. So PQ divided by adjacent side is QR. So QR. I next we need the definition of cos theta. So cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by opposite. So adjacent divided by opposite, which is equal. So here adjacent side is QR. So QR divided by opposite side is PQ. Opposite side is PQ. Therefore, in place of tan theta, we should write PQ divided by QR, which is equal to tan theta is PQ divided by Q1 into cot theta. Cot theta is QR divided by P. So QR divided by P. 
now pq pq get cancelled qr qr get cancelled which is equals to 1 therefore we get tan theta into cot theta is equals to 1 i hope all of you understood if possible take a moment So now let us consider one more. This is also one of the relation between trigonometric relations. So first one, sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to. The definition of sin theta is what? Opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is what? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse, which is equal to here the opposite side is PQ, hypotenuse side is PR. So this is nothing but PQ divided by PR, whole divided by adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent side is QR divided by hypotenuse side is PR. Which is equal to PQ divided by PR into QR divided by PR into PR divided by QR. PR and PR get cancelled, which is equal to sin theta divided by cos theta. Is equal to PQ divided by QR. PQ divided by QR. And which is equal to, just observe here, from this triangle, the definition of tan theta is equal to, the definition of tan theta is opposite divided by adjacent, which is equal to, here the opposite side is PQ, divided by adjacent side is QR, therefore tan theta is PQ divided by QR, hence sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to PQ divided by QR, and which is equal to what? Tan. Therefore, we have one more relation that is what? Sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to what? Tan. I hope all of you understood. If possible, take a look. So now, node number 2. Let us consider cos theta divided by sin theta, which is equal to the definition of cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and the definition of sin theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So, which is equal to here the adjacent side is QR in place of AM and then QR divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse side is PR, PR, whole divided by opposite side is PQ, PQ, divided by hypotenuse side is PR, PR. So therefore, which can be written as QR divided by PR into PQ divided by PR, now again, PR divided by PQ. Now, PR and PR get cancelled, therefore we get cos theta divided by sin theta is equal to QR divided by P. Therefore, this is equal to from this triangle, we may write the definition of cot theta. Cot theta is what? Adjacent divided by opposite side. Adjacent divided by opposite side, which is equal to adjacent side is QR, QR divided by opposite side is PQ, PQ. Therefore, cot theta is equal to QR divided by PQ. So, therefore, QR divided by PQ can be written as cot theta. Therefore, we may have one more relation that is cos theta divided by sin theta is equal to what? Cot. Therefore, cos theta divided by sin theta is equal to what? cot theta. I hope all of you understood. If possible, take
Tentando. So now, sub-identities means from these relationship between trigonometric ratios, we may write some more identities. So which are those? We just observe here. The first relation is sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1. Sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1. So it means we may write sin theta is equal to e cosecant theta na as such to write here cosecant theta is in multiple as such to write the divide divided so that is one divided by cosecant theta r we may write cosecant theta is equal to one by sin theta this is the sub identity of first relation and now second one Second one is cos theta into second theta is equal to one. So from this we may write cos theta is equal to one divided by second theta. Or we may write one more relation that is what second theta is equal to one divided by cos theta. These are very important. So that's why you must try to perfect all these identities and all these trigonometric ratios. Relationship between trigonometric ratios also important. Now the third one. Third relation is what? Tan theta into cos theta is equal to 1. So tan theta into cos theta is equal to 1. So from this, we may write tan theta is equal to e cos theta is equal to 1. 1 divided by cos theta. आ कार कितना है कितना कितना है कि टैंक कितना आसर से ऊपर वन डिवाइडेड बाय टैंक आई होप आप लोग अंडरस्टूड इफ पॉसिबल टेक अप